Let's walk through some Revit modeling techniques when preparing a model for CF Design. First step, we'll take a new project and we're going to model first walls. All right, so here on level one, let's add in a wall. Choose our profile, get a little bit creative. After this, we'll create a new 3D view here so we can view this model in 3D not just 2D, spin it around with this, this box up here. Let's jump back down to level one with a double click and to add in some stairs. So this will be a diagonal st staircase here. It's important that we select monolithic stair. And it's also important that we turn the railings off. Otherwise that takes up uh, a lot of detail in the meshing program that isn't necessary. So now we'll switch back to the 3D view, make sure it looks good. Okay, sounds great. Now let's add some doors and windows. So we'll look at one of these elevation views from the side. We can also do this, so we can do this here or in the 3D view. We'll put one in first in the elevation view and then let's switch over to the 3D view and add another. Maybe we'll add three. Revit makes it really easy to just place these, and if that ends up in the wrong spot, you can drag and drop. Or, excuse me, drag that to move it around. Let's move that wall over a little bit and move that door. Now, one thing that's also critical here in getting this model ready for CF design, I'll show you here in just a minute. Let's drop a floor here back on level one so we can seal this up. Okay, so again. Picking that floor icon and just picking the walls to seal it up. And once we finish the sketch, we can see that we have this, this floor slab now. In order to add a, uh, a roof to this, I like to use actually ceiling. So I'll go to the level two ceiling plan. And, and that's all. That's all it takes. Now what's interesting is it leaves room for the roof, so we're actually going to just change the properties on the ceiling real quick. It's a single click to select it, and then element properties here. And it's just a matter of changing that offset so that it seals up at the top. So we're essentially building an atrium, um, a short one. One more item that we need to adjust slightly and then we'll be ready to, to analyze this model. So if I zoom in here, you can see there's a gap between the door and the, and the back side of the wall. We need to fill that in. We need this volume to be airtight for CF Design. So in order to do that, we're going to change the door property. So again, click on that, Element Properties, and we're going to create a new door type so that we can adjust this one property that's important to us, and that's the thickness. So let's make that one foot. And you can see now we have a, a nice tight seal, which will pay dividends for us in CF Design. So let's check the other doors. Looks like they've been updated as well. And we're ready to go. If you want to add more detail, you can also put in windows. Again, just like adding doors. Drop them wherever it makes sense. No need to adjust their properties. We can also go into the elevation views and adjust the height. So we can move level two up. Uh, we can make the building taller. <clears throat> we can change the, the height of the staircase. So these are, some, these are different ways that you can adjust the model uh, to look at different design studies. When we're ready to launch into CF Design, we choose File, Export, CAD Formats, and it's important, imperative actually, that you be in this 3D view when you're ready to do that. So we'll save that out as an ACES file, and then we'll be able to analyze the model. And here we see the model in CF Design.